Now let's raise a glass to celebrate all of the excitement in Cannes because it's Thursday and it's the happiest hour. Lifestyle reporter Brandy Malloy is here to whip up a cocktail. Brandy, what are we making today? I hear it's a smash. <laughs> it's smashing. We're making an apricot smash. And you know, you may not have heard of this cocktail, but it's kind of uh, an old American classic. It reminds me of something between a mint julep um, and a mojito. And Ooh, two good drinks. Right? What I really like about this cocktail is that it uses just really simple ingredients. You only need four items and you're good to go. Okay, so what are the ingredients? All right, so all you need to make this at home is one large ripe apricot or two smaller ones, three quarters of an ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice, one ounce of agave nectar, and two ounces of bourbon. And be sure to get a really great bourbon like um, a Maker's Mark. Okay, sounds good. What's our first step? I all see right. we're muddling. Yeah, so I need your manpower okay. over here. I'm Let's gonna have you muddle these it. apricots in. They already have the other half okay, started so for we'll you. Okay, put those in there. And just how muddled do you Try just to break it down as much as possible. Some of the reins here. Yeah, and we're actually gonna be double straining this cocktail. So that's really important when you're muddling to just try to get all of those fruits in there. Okay. And what's great about an apricot is it's it's seasonal right now. We're really inspired by what's available at the farmer's market. And you'll notice apricot has this nice velvety top. A little tart, but actually pretty sweet. Something between a plum and a peach. Apricots are underrated. I, I agree. They're, they're like the enough. underdog yeah. underdog fruit. <laughs> they are. Okay, so we've got some juice coming. I'm surprised how much juice comes out of an apricot. Be sure when you find one to find a ripe apricot. Okay, That's is that key. better? That's yes. better for the drinks. All so right. Let's put this lemon juice in. Lemon there. juice. And, and our agave. Okay. And what's nice is this is just gonna give a nice natural sweetness. Okay. Then I'm gonna add our bourbon. And I'll just keep muddling. Let's do two ounces this is of this. It's a workout right now. <laughs> you burn off the calories that you'll drink. <laughs> And Matt, what I really like about this cocktail is every home bar should have a bourbon. And so if you have a bourbon at home, all you need is a couple other ingredients. And Everyone has fresh lemons at home, right? Yes, so, well you should, yeah. according to Brandy. And, this, <laughs> <laughs> and bourbon always looks good. It looks so fancy when you put it in a nice crystal. Yeah, nice It's a decanter. nice addition to the bar. All right. All right. So I think I've muddled that enough. Okay. Now do we shake it? Yep, so we're going to add some ice to our shaker. Okay. And give it a good shake. Go ahead and do that for you. Thank you. And then we're going to strain it. Yeah, and we're going to double strain this cocktail. No, this is a double strainer, I take it? Well, here's oh. the thing. We're going to uh -oh, use the strainer built this. into the mixer. Okay. And this is just so it's we can actually drink it. Yeah, you really want to play up the nice sweet tartness of the apricot with that sweet bourbon. And like I said, I'm using Maker's Mark. Um, so really focus on a bourbon that is sweet or like uh, Maker's 46 is okay. another good one. We're, we're almost there. We're struggling to get this. Out well, you got you got to double strain it. Well, that's it. good because that means there's a lot of fruit in there. It's a smooth cocktail. And what you could do is more. you could even take that fruit and put it on something else, like maybe some ice cream or something after as a little topping. I like on a to Sunday. use the pulp and put it into my ice trays. Oh. And make some and make like boozy ice cubes for like a sweet tea or something. Boozy ice cubes. Now we're talking. Brandy. Okay. Now mint for garnish is optional. Go ahead okay. and give that a try. What do you think? Oh, this is okay. And that I is why you double strain it because it's so smooth. It's sweet. It's tart and smooth. It really is. And I wasn't going to say that I typically don't like bourbon. So, but oh. I like this. This is a really nice. I drink. changed it. <laughs> yeah, you did. You changed me. It can be. It can happen. Cheers, Matt. All right. Cheers to you. And thanks so much. <laughs> thanks.